We're in the middle of Inktober 2021 at the moment, so I wanted to give you a bit of motivation to pick up your pens with this pen and ink drawing tutorial. Hey, I'm Scotty and thanks for joining me. I'm going to start with my 0.6 pen here on an A5 mixed media sketch pad. I'll be outlining all the main shapes and then going on to my brush pen and my pencil for some shading. Um, if you're a beginner, I've made this template here so you can follow along with that. It helps you get all the proportions right before you start doing these kind of free sketches that I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's start at the top here. And so I'm just thinking of those main shapes, trying to feel where they go. and not really worried about making mistakes. So I really recommend you have a go at this because it is lots of fun. It can be frustrating, I know, when you first start. The shoulders are here. To have a bit of a guess because I can't see the edge of the shoulder. Probably come down there, and there's lots of wrinkles there with the clothes. It's a little split in the fringe there. Nice black dark areas here and here, and along this front bit of fringe. I also wanted to add a box. Okay, now into the face. So I think the nose is about halfway between the fringe and the the chin, the mouth. So some detail later will make that look a bit better hopefully. The eye, the start of the eye is quite close because of the angle of the face. So I'm trying to draw the outline of the eye on both sides so that I can see if, they're, if it's correct. Little corners where the bridge of the nose is. So start with one side and then you can easily change the width of the iris. And so this little gap here, try to mimic that on the other side. So I'm happy with that. You can sort of feel a bit of her gaze. Use my pen to colour in the irises because the brush pen's pretty good but it's not as accurate as this. So I'm leaving a little glint and I focus the dark darkness on the top. The dark spots that I like to have are the top of the eyelids. This make sure there's some darkness in the nose somewhere. The split between the lips and maybe underneath the bottom lip, there's a bit of shadow there. Okay, so I just work out the hand a bit better. So there's some knuckles going through there, some knuckles there. Get the top of the finger flat. Okay, the other one. And slightly change the angle of the finger so they fit better. And I just forgot the earrings. Not sure if you'll be able to see this in the end, but we'll add those in. Okay, so now we have a dye based pencil brush pen. So I'm going to shade in all these dark areas. I love the way this dye ink had some nice texture to the strokes. So you can see the the dark section of the hairs on the sides. So add a bit on this side as well. Try not to touch the hand there too much because it's a bit more exposed on that side. Very solid on this side of the fringe and goes very close to the top of the eyelid. And then it's not showing in the reference but I'm going to add a bit of dark hair here because I can imagine that there'd be something there and you can even use your finger not many people like it but I do okay so now there's another dark shadow under a chin so let's do that okay for the clothing I'm going to be really rough and then maybe add some graphite pencil later so I press quite hard on the brush pen and it splays the, the bristles out and gives you a nice thick Get coverage, shadow here, some big shadows there and they go across. Now I'm using a 2H pencil to just do a bit of shading. So 
the shading underneath the fringe is really important because her eyes are in shadow and I love the feeling of her looking out underneath that fringe are you okay the important shade is the eyes the underneath the nose the left side of the nose now I'm going to try using this little cotton cotton tip so I just want a subtle blend just make sure this is dark enough so I'm going to add some to the top just to make that gradient interesting now the fingers mostly on the back of the hand I've got my water brush pen with a tiny bit of ink but mostly water and then I'm going to create a little background on the other side I'm careful not to get it too close to the brush pen ink because it does bleed I don't have pigment ink in that brush pen really happy with the way it turned out this quick sketch Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next one.